Hey, welcome to Worship Tutorials. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play the song The Father's House by Corey Asbury on acoustic guitar. Now, before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed to, uh, to the YouTube channel here, please do so. The, the robots at YouTube, the analytics, tell us that most of you who watch these videos are not subscribed, so consider this your moment of glory. You can subscribe to the channel now, click that notification bell, so you know when we get a new upload. We upload content all the time, teaching videos, playthrough videos, guitar patch video demos, stuff if you've got modelers, gear stuff, all kinds of stuff here at Worship Tutorials. All right, let's get into the song. Now, the original recording of this song from Corey Asbury is in the key of D flat. I find that difficult to sing. I typically judge what key to do these songs in based on where I can sing them, because I sing pretty low, like I don't sing like most of the recording artists that uh, release these songs. I feel like I have a, a pretty a voice that matches what a lot of, uh, of non-professional touring, you know, people are worship leaders, people in churches are singing. So I like to do this song in the key of B flat, which is quite a bit lower than the original. To do that, I'm gonna show you how to play this song using key of G chords and uh, you can put your capo on the third fret. Now, if that's too low for you, you can put it on the fourth fret. That would be the key of B. You can easily transpose this song into the key of C. I will link below where you can download charts for this. You can get them in all different keys. You can see resources for this song. Like, I'm gonna base this on the acoustic to playthrough video that we did, also linked below. So click those links to, to see all the stuff that we and other people have for this song. Uh, if you want, if, if you want to sing it closer to the original, you can transpose these chords that I'm going to show you into the key of C and either play it in open C or with a capo on the first fret in C, which would put you in the key of D flat, which is what it's recorded in. But for this tutorial today, we're going to go key of G chords, key, uh, capo on the third fret, which is the key of B flat. All right. So the chords that we're going to use are G, I like to play it like this. C, there's an E minor, which you can play this way, or you can just play it this way. There's D, you can play it uh, like the D sus2, like this, or here's D major. Now there's also a, a G over B chord, so to play that, uh, you just play like your typical G chord, and uh, don't play the low E string play the A string with your second finger where it would be on the second fret relative to the capo. That would be, uh, if you're just thinking of this as the nut of the guitar, that would be the B in the chord. Okay, so that's in there as well. Now there are some alternate uh, fingerings that you would use for these chords to do like the intro, like the melodic part that you hear in the intro and turnaround, I'll show you when we get to those. But those are the chords that you need uh, in this song, in this key. Now strumming pattern, uh, I kind of use one pattern throughout this whole song and I just back off of it in certain places to get quieter and press into it in other places to get bigger. And uh, it goes like this. So if we're in 4-4 four, four time, this song is at 81 BPM. I'm trying to get my internal metronome to 81. It's about two, three, four, two, two. If you got a metronome at home, you can check me. See how close I am. Might be, I might be a little fast, but anyway, it goes like this. Two, three, four. I'm trying to tap my foot so you can hear the beats. One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna slow that down. It goes like this, two, three, four, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. All right, that's the strumming pattern that you're gonna use throughout most of the song. Like if you're playing the intro, it sounds like this. So you heard there's a little variation in there of that pattern, but it's basically just. Okay, so you just heard me play the intro. Let's go over it. The chords that you're gonna use for the intro go E minor, D, and that's a push. 
So it's one and two and three and four and D. Then G over B to C. And same thing, push it. One and two. Okay, I'll play it again really slow and count it so you see where those pushes come. When I say push, I mean you're switching the chord on the and of the two and three on the two, on the and of the two, okay? Uh, it just means you're hitting it a little, like you're pushing it uh, ahead of the beat just a little bit. It's easiest, if that's confusing or that sounds like I don't know how to do that, uh, <laughs> don't worry, it's easiest just to listen to the album and just kind of feel where those chord changes happen. And you'll feel that. You kind of instinctively know what those sound like when you hear the album, uh, but that's just how they technically fall within the beat of the song. All right, intro. Two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, Now those pushes are gonna remain throughout this whole song. We'll talk about it all the way through. That's just kind of how this song flows and how the feel of it is. Now the uh, I told you there was like a little melodic part in the intro. Again, if you click through that uh, acoustic playthrough that's linked below, you you can see me on guitar playing it. Uh, but it goes like this. So the E minor is just as we showed you, and three and four and and then there's this. Okay, so that all happens during the D chord, which is the second chord in the intro, on the E, A, D string, second fret, I'm just gonna pretend that this is the nut of the guitar, so everything is gonna be relative to where the capo is. Second fret, so two to four, and you just hammer on. Now I like to use my index finger there and hammer on with my pinky. So if you're not used to using your pinky to do things on the guitar, this is a great opportunity to practice that. And you use your pinky to pull off, which is a little bit, if you're like a beginner, that's kind of a hard thing to do, but just practice. Uh, you'll find out you can get there, even if you just do this. That's cool, like you can hear, oh, that's that part of the song, like that's what everyone hears during the song, okay? So the first one is during the D chord, it's on the D string, two to four. And then you go to the G over B to C. This one is a lot easier. So this happens during the C chord. It's again on the D string, but it's open to two. And that's right where your index finger is for a C chord anyway. So you're just going. So it sounds like this when you put it all together. Two, three, four. That's a cool little riff that you can play in there. Now you certainly don't have to if you just went, if you're playing this song like on your worship team as an acoustic player. If you just do this, it's fine. In fact, there may be other people doing that part on different instruments, but especially if you're by yourself or in a really minimalist type of a band, it's really cool to be able to do that. So that is the intro. Let's move on to the verse. So the progression with the verse and the chorus uh, is pretty much the same all the way through. Um, it, this is a very simple song. So it goes E minor to D, and again, there's a push there. One and two and three and four. Then it's C to G. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so that's basically it. E minor, D, C, G, with the pushes on the ands of those beats. And uh, with the lyrics, it goes like this. E minor, sometimes on this D journey, I get C, lost in my mistakes, G. And then you just repeat, what looks to me like D weakness is a C canvas for your strength, okay? My E minor story isn't over, to D. My story, C, has just begun, to G. E minor failure won't define me, because that's C, what my father does. Then repeat that line. Failure won't define me. That's what my father, G, does. And that's basically all of it. It's really simple. I'm going to sing it for you and play it so you can see how it all fits together. Coming out of like the last chord of the intro. Here's the verse. C 
Sometimes on this journey I get lost in my mistakes What looks to me like weakness Is a canvas for your strength My story isn't over My story's just begun Failure won't define me Cause that's what my father does Repeat it Failure won't define me that's what my father does. Now we're into the chorus. Guess what? It's the same progression. Lay your burden C to G down. Ooh, E minor to D. Here in C, the father's G house. Check your E minor. Shame at the door. Check your E minors at the door. It ain't C. Welcome anymore, G. E minor to D. You're in. See the father's G house. That's it. Same progression, just different stuff underneath. Now, uh, one of the reasons that I really wanted to play to play this song in this key is the ooh, you know that part. Uh, if you do it in the album key, that is a difficult part to sing unless you have a, a crazy range. If you have a lower range like me, you'd have to do it in falsetto. Uh, that's where I would have to sing it in the album key uh, if I were gonna sing that part. Um, that's not an easy thing for me, especially to pull it off in a live situation. I wouldn't trust myself to uh, to 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 con consistently perform that or or sing that in pitch. So that's why I chose to do it down here. You can also just not sing it. I don't think you know it's a cool part, but I don't think it's completely necessary to the song. Like you could just go into the chorus. Lay your burdens down. I mean, that's without singing it. If you want to sing it, it's a lot easier in this key. So, uh, coming out of the chorus, or sorry, the verse. Uh, Lay your burdens down. It puts it like in chest voice range. For me, I would consider myself like a baritone. Uh, so that's probably more accessible for that part for a lot more vocalists in this key. That was probably the biggest reason I chose to do it here. The other thing you can do is have other vocalists sing that part, especially if you're leading it as a male worship leader and you have female vocalists on your team. That's going to be right in a female vocalist sweet spot if you're doing it higher up, like more like the album version. Uh, so you could have like you know, some background vocalists sing that. Uh, that would be cool too. So um, that's just a few notes about that part of the song, why I chose this key, etc. All right, let's sing through it so you can see how the chorus goes uh, with everything together. Uh, end of the verse, that's what my father does. Gotta get in the rain. That's what my father does. Ooh. See, I even feel now like it doesn't feel great singing. Lay your burdens down Ooh, Here in the Father's house Check your shame at the door It ain't welcome anymore Ooh, You're in the Father's house Now you're back into the intro Same as a turnaround So after that turnaround, you go into verse two. It's the same musically as verse one. Uh, and then you go into the chorus again. Again, you play it the same as the first time around. Uh, after that second time through the chorus, or if you do a couple choruses there, you come to the instrumental section, and that kind of doubles as what you're gonna play on the bridge. Now it's a very simple part. It's just basically C to G. Uh, on the note, like if you, if you download charts for this song, it will be labeled a C over G. Uh, that just means basically that your bass player is just playing a G the whole time. As an acoustic instrumentalist, uh, acoustic guitar player, I would just go from between a C and a G in that section. So it's just... C, G. C, G. That's it. That's all you do. And then the, uh, the bridge comes in right after that. Prodigals come home. The helpless find hope. Love is on the move when the father's in the room. Pretty much it. Pretty 
prison doors fling wide The dead come to life Love is on the move When the father's in the room Moving on Miracles take place The cynical find faith Love is breaking through When the father's in the room Okay Jericho walls are quaking Kind of build here Strongholds now are shaking Love is breaking through When the father's in the room Keep going Love is breaking through Okay, so that's pretty much the bridge. It's a very simple bridge. Uh, it's just you got to get the words right. If you see me looking like right there, it's because there's a screen right there with the words on it. It's like a confidence monitor. Side note, if you do use a confidence monitor in your church, what you're experiencing in this tutorial, like what's that guy looking at over there? That's what your congregation experiences when you look at the confidence monitor all the time. So it's a good practice to know the song and not need the confidence monitor. If it's there, you can refer to it, um, but it is a little distracting for your congregation and for you as a viewer in this video. I need to take my own advice. Memorize the song before I teach the song. Let's actually go to the uh, instrumental section after the, uh, the, the chorus. Here it is, instrumental. Everything kind of drops here. You're like, oh, they're gonna do something different in the song now. We've heard the same progression for the first three minutes. Then you go, prodigals come home, the helpless find hope. Love is on the move when the father's in the room. Prison doors, prison doors swing wide, the dead come to life. Love is on the move when the father's in the room. Miracles take place. Miracles take place. Cynical find faith. Love is breaking through when the Father's in the room. Jericho walls. Jericho walls. There's where you can jump an octave. Jericho walls are quaking. Strongholds now are shaking. Love is breaking through when the Father's in the room. back into the chorus. See, even there, I sang the woo-woo part, woo-woo, <laughs> woo-woo part, and uh, I didn't, it didn't feel very good. I just would need to practice that a lot so that I was very confident in my delivery of that line pitch-wise and tonally, too, because um, you wanted to have the impact that you want. So uh, if there's one difficult part of pulling this song off as a vocalist, I think it's that. Uh, but that's basically the entire song. So you just end with uh, choruses, um, and then you're done, and then you're out. So really a pretty simple song. Has a cool part that you can play on the acoustic in that intro, turnaround section. Especially if you want to work on, like, strengthening what you do with your pinky. Because uh, that's how I like to play it. It also works on your accuracy of hitting just that chord. Um, I didn't say this in there, but you can kind of mute the other strings. You're still hearing a few, but most of them are muted, so that way when you play the whole thing, you just hear what you want to hear. Again, if you haven't subscribed to Worship Tutorials here on YouTube, please do so. We're uploading new content all the time. Uh, hopefully our upload frequency will increase moving forward. Uh, we've got a few things in the works, and more like acoustic guitar tutorials and playthroughs as well. Um, I know a lot of you have said, hey, uh, I've seen less of those in, in the recent past and uh, we don't want to just abandon that kind of content or this kind of content. We want to keep it coming. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.